What keeps you motivated at this stage of your career? I mean, you've already amassed this uh, incredible empire of killers. You've got these guys to move with you all the way to Puerto Rico. And I wanted to talk to you about that as well, because what is that like to go from crazy, crowded, polluted New York City to paradise? I mean, you're in this gorgeous, yeah. I mean, watch yeah. the videos of you guys, like, there, it's a gorgeous environment. No, it's, it's beautiful. Um, uh, while I taught in New York, many of my best students in the, in the gym were Puerto Ricans who live. New York has a very high Puerto Rican population. They always told me about uh, their, their homeland, and they would go back and talk about it. It always sounded intriguing. I'd never been. Um, uh, Gordon, Craig... Nikki and some other members of the uh, squad had gone down there and they talked very highly of it. They loved it. Um, when COVID-19 broke out, it was difficult to train in New York and uh, uh, the, the the local authorities were very much against the idea of, of gyms training. We, we had a special ability to train because uh, we only allowed professional athletes to train. It was legal for professional athletes to train in New York, but not regular classes. So I lost 95% of my students um, as soon as the the order to to not run regular class, classes came, so it was um, it was just them training in the basement, and um, uh, we got an opportunity to to go down there and and train in Puerto Rico, and uh, the squad was very much in favour of it. I, I've me personally, I, I know you said New York's a horrible polluted city, but what's well, a great city? Yeah, I, I I love New York. I it always is, did. It is horrible and polluted, yeah. but it's yeah. also amazing. It was, it, I, I focus more on the amazing parts of it. I, I loved it. You you, so, you like lived in the city though. Yeah. And I think most of the students that I you think have that that's the problem. I, I always right? just tell them, like, dude, you guys literally see the worst parts of New York. All you see is the the bridges, the tunnels, and and the the parking garage that costs crazy amounts of money. And then you go home at night. Like you need to live in the city, but they never did. So, um, well, it's very difficult to do. Like, yeah. You have to make a lot of money to be able to live well in New York City, uh, right? Not, I mean, I came to New York with four hundred dollars in my pocket, and I lived in the city. But the that was time. in the nineteen twenties, <laughs> right? You got I, I set myself <laughs> up for that. One. <laughs> you, you hit me right between the eyes for that one. What? Yeah, nineteen like, thirties, Joe. Nineteen thirties. Yeah. Um, but you must have. I mean, at the end, you probably had a nice place, and you were doing. Pretty well yep. teaching there. Uh, um, yeah, uh, it's a but hugely successful gym. Uh, but I, I had no part of the gym. That was my teacher's gym, Henza. So uh, I, I I never took any money from the gym. I only made money on my private classes and really and seminars. So you never got yeah. taught. You never got paid to teach at the gym. No, I, I was paid uh, a little bit, a stipend towards my rent. So what? Yeah. I, really? I, I'm fine with that. I, I, I don't uh, see any reason why you should take money from your teacher. Um, I, I've always believed in the, I think the Americans have, they call it, uh, you eat what you kill. Mm -hmm. um, I've always believed in that. And oh, okay. um, uh, I used to teach privates all day, and um, uh, that was more than enough for me. I'm not someone who needs a lot of money. Um, That's a very unusual perspective. Your perspective, this is again what I'm saying, like it's good luck replacing John Donaher. Like, good good luck replicating that because of the fact that you don't need a lot of money. Like, most people, they want a lot of money. They yeah. just they well, want uh, they want a bigger apartment. Yeah. They want a car. They want a nice this and a nice that. I, I think uh, money has its value. It, 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 the prime function of money should be freedom. Like, it gives you f a freedom to do things, and that's a wonderful thing. Yeah. But uh, I did that largely by the fact that I didn't want many things, and... Um, uh, I had many friends who were very successful. Like, for example, when uh, George St. Pierre would would uh, call me to train, I I would fly up to to um, Canada, and he would have a nice hotel room for me. So it wasn't like I lived like a homeless person or something like that. Um, but I just I, I just feel like the as long as you have enough money to be free, you're you're good. And uh, that was always my approach. Living in New York City, what was the big appeal of it to you? Um, initially, I came there for my education at Columbia University. And uh, you must remember, I was raised in New Zealand. And uh, New Zealand is a beautiful, beautiful country. Um, but it's very small. There were more people in Manhattan than there were in my whole country when, when I left. And uh, moreover, New Zealand is largely a uh, indigenous Maori population, a Polynesian population, and a... Uh, uh, European population from our colonial past. So um, really there's a fairly limited sort of group of people. It's like you're either Polynesian Maori or, uh, or, or 
European. Uh, when you come to New York, it's literally like the entire world is represented in there. And it's just a, an amazing experience. And um, like people talk about travel being the best educator. And I, I, I sincerely believe that. I believe that travel opens your mind in ways that nothing else can. But the problem with travel is that it creates an irregular lifestyle where you can't develop skills. And what makes any human being great at anything is skill development. The only way you can develop skills is by having routine in your life. So where do you go? If you want to travel, you can't have routine. You can't develop skills. And if you're stuck in one place, you develop a routine, you can develop skills, but your life's boring and you don't really get to see much of the world. But New York City was the incredible compromise. It had both. You could be in one location. You didn't go to the world. The world came to you. And so you had all the benefits of travel, of meeting people from every culture and seeing how they live their lives, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, while at the same time you had a fixed location from where you could train, develop skills, and become great at the things you loved. But it doesn't seem like you really have the time to experience much of what New York City had to offer with the schedule that you had in terms of being there seven days a week, training people constantly, doing privates all day, training the squad. Where is all this time? Nighttime. Nighttime. So what would you do at nighttime? Go to different restaurants? Of course, yeah. yeah that was night, what it was yeah. about? And um, uh, you can go around, meet people you've, uh, you've acquainted, coaching. Uh, I have many famous athletes coming in, and um, people from the UFC would come in and, and work, and you would go out at night and, and talk, and uh, so it was easy. Daytime was work, and nighttime was, it was relaxation. So you just enjoyed the, the diverse nightlife of Manhattan. Yeah. That also, just, I, I worked yeah. in the nightclub industry for my first 10 years in Manhattan, too. So um, uh, I was very familiar with the, the nightlife scene. We've got to talk Gordon Ryan into moving to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's going to be pretty damn easy for you. Like Gordon, first of all, he loves Texas, like loves it. Um, secondly, he loves cars and Texas is a car culture. I took him out of my 900 horsepower Dodge Ram. Did he crash it? Oh, he fucking loved it. No, he didn't drive it. I drove it. Okay. But I, it's, I have the most ridiculous truck. It's a, a Hennessy Dodge Ram. As it's 900 horsepower. It goes That's zero insane. to 60 in three seconds. That's insane. Um, For a giant truck. And 